We cannot continue uh, indefinitely to impair the social and economic, as well as the mental health and physiological health of the broader population for potentially a year. Premier Jason Kenney being blasted for his comments about COVID-19 and the elderly. He kind of forgot that there was many people who are affected by this. Lindsay Camp was shocked at the Premier's comment. Her three-year-old son George is one of those who face a potentially lethal outcome if he's infected by the virus after recently getting his second heart transplant. We wipe down all of our groceries. We reheat takeout food. He hasn't gone out anywhere. We wear a mask everywhere. It's just very nerve-wracking. Camp tells City News she also has other family members who are considered high risk when it comes to COVID-19. No one is immune. It's a new virus. So I just think um, it was offensive and it was a confusing um, speech that he gave. Kenny responded to criticism. His words were harsh by saying restarting the economy is a balancing act. How to uh, protect the vulnerable, uh, but be mindful that uh, every, every public health order that suspends an area of economic or social activity also has negative consequences. The Premier also restating the coronavirus is more of a concern for the elderly population. COVID-19 has affected the health of, of some young people, but a tiny number. Kemp says that thinking is dangerous as the virus has impacted people of all ages. We have to be very careful about how we word how serious COVID is because it affects more of the population than I think our Premier led to believe. From Edmonton, Sherolta Saskew, City News.